Hi friends, today's video is about very attractive and low light house plant, Aspidistra latier, the cast iron plant. Aspidistra originally comes from the forest of China and Japan. The plant is thankful for good care and indicates its health with high growth, lush green leaves and even blossoms. Its beauty lies in its dark green stalked and shining leaves which it displays openly. This is a variegated version that has attractive and white strippings on the leaves. The variegated version is less hardy than its darker cousin. Now I am gonna share some tips and tricks on how to care for the cast iron plant. Let's talk about its lighting conditions. The cast iron plant tolerates low indoor lighting and thrives in shaded areas. It also performs well in filtered sunlight but doesn't like direct sunlight. Too much sunny place should be avoided, especially when it comes to variegated species. Next. I am gonna talk about its watering schedule. Aspidistra elatier prefer its soil neither to dry nor to moist. Let the upper layer of soil to dry between waterings. If you are like many indoor plant owners and forget to water it occasionally, then this plant is very forgiving. If the room's air moisture is low, it is also recommended to spray the plant with room temperature water on occasion. The plant is thankful if you wipe the dust of its leaves with a moist piece of cloth from time to time. As a potted plant, use a good quality well drained soil mix, one part peat moss, one part perlite or vermiculite. As far as its fertilization is concerned, a liquid or water soluble all purpose fertilizer will be ideal for this plant. Fertilize your Aspidistra with nutrients regularly between April and October. Ideal temperature for Aspidistra range between 7 degrees Celsius to 29 degrees Celsius. So you won't typically need to worry about this in the average home. For young plants, you should not repot more than once a year. And for mature Aspidistra, you are looking at doing it once every 3 or 4 years at the most. A standard potting soil should be used and a pot slightly bigger than the current pot. Aspidistra is such a slow grower and expensive to produce and purchase, though it offers a long-term enjoyment and beauty. This glossy leafed plant occasionally bears a purple cup-shaped flower that appears right above the soil, but it's very rare. In case you kept the Aspidistra elatier outside during the summer, it has to be taken inside before the first frost. Here inside it rests from November to March. Hibernation inside the house can happen at normal room temperature. Direct sun should be avoided too during winter. One thing to know that they do get spider mites occasionally. So what you have to do is check the underside of the leaf once in a while. Look right along the center wing especially and you will see little tiny white specks clustered on the either side. So use insecticide for your plant. These are highly dependable, tolerant and attractive plants. The vast majority of mistakes with cast iron plants are caused either by too much water 
or by direct sunlight which will cause leaves to turn yellow then brown and die let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions related to spdistra elatier don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching